In the previous video, we used the limit concept to solve the tangent line slope. In this video, we will extend the definition of tangent lines to allow for vertical tangents. And second, we will know what the cusp point is. Let's get started. Assume we have a function here. You can also see its graph. The graph is smooth, and it appears that the y-axis at the origin is tangent to this curve. Let us try to find the limit of the Newton quotient for a function with x equal to 0. We substituted 0 for x. To find this limit, we must first determine the left and right limits. This is the graph of 1 upon h raised to the power of 2 thirds. When h approaches the origin from the right side, then this function is approaching positive infinity. Even when h approaches the origin from the left side, this function approaches positive infinity. Because both the left and right limits are approaching positive infinity, the limit of this function on the origin will be positive infinity. We're approaching infinity here. It implies that the limit does not exist. Despite the fact that limit does not exist there, the slope of the secant line connecting another point Q on the curve approaches infinity as Q approaches the origin from either side. Now we'll look at another function. You can see a graph of it. If we look closely at this function, we can see that it is not smooth at the origin, that's why it lacks a tangent line at the origin. Let's figure out the Newton quotient for this. We substituted 0 for x. To find this limit, we must first find the left and right limits, as we did in the previous example. This is the graph for which the limit h approaches 0 must be calculated. First, let's determine the right limit. The function approaches positive infinity as h approaches the origin from the right side. As a result, the right limit is positive infinity. However, as h approaches the origin from the left limit, the function approaches negative infinity. Because the limits on the left and right are different, its limit will not exist at the origin. As a result, we say that this curve has a cusp at the origin. What is a cusp point? A cusp point is an infinitely sharp point at which you would have to stop and turn if you were traveling along the curve. Let's see what we got as a final result. If the Newton quotient at any point is positive or negative infinity, the vertical line at that point will be tangent to the curve. The second case is if the limit does not exist in any other way. We know, that limit does not exist in the first case as well, but we are talking about if it is not existing in any other way. The best example is that the left limit is not equal to the right limit. That means there will be no tangent line on the curve at that point. If the right and left limits of the curve are not equal, the curve has a cusp at that point. I hope you understood. In the next video, we will define derivatives. So, subscribe to our channel right now. Thank you.